Welcome to our hymns and prayers from Little Samford. Today we celebrate Christ the King and you will find that a lot of us vicar type people tend to talk about Christ being a king and wanting us to be part of his kingdom. Thy kingdom come as in the Lord's Prayer. I've always struggled a bit with the word kingdom as I don't think it translates very well into the 21st century. So in thinking about the kingdom of Christ, I've always tried to think about it as the way we live for Christ. And we can of course learn about the way we should live for Christ, our King, simply by watching how he lived. And as Susanna writes in her reflection today, here is a king who quite literally turned the world on its head. A king who rode into Jerusalem, not on a fine horse at the head of an army, but on a humble donkey. A king who sat down to eat with those who are despised and ostracised by others. A king who healed the sick, the disabled, the mentally ill. A king who touched the untouchable. His life was driven by love for others, particularly those in need. And all he wants is for our lives to be driven by love too. And so, as Susanna says, if we keep Christ the King in our sights and listen for his voice, we may find ourselves unexpectedly turning aside to bring healing to someone who calls out to us, or to share our gifts with someone whose needs are greater than ours. The key is the way we love and how it affects the way we live. Gracious God, you call us to love with all our hearts and minds. You challenge us to love our neighbours as ourselves. But too often we love only ourselves, thinking of our own welfare. Too often we reserve our love for the exclusive few, our families and our closest friends. Too often we are forgetful of others and indifferent to their needs. Teach us, Lord, that you have shown us the way of love and through that love you offer life. Take the little love that we have, nurture it, deepen it and expand it until we have learned what love really means, until your love flows through our hearts and out through our lives. We pray for all those who need our love, for the weak and vulnerable, for those who are struggling to support their families, for our food banks and the work they do. We pray for the lonely, now such a dominant feature of our society. We pray for the unemployed and those whose firms are at risk of closure and the worry that creates. 
We pray for those who are ill or waiting for treatment, for those who have died and their families. Help of the helpless, reach out to strengthen and support them and reach out to strengthen us that we may support them. Christ alone, my hope is found. Loving Father, we praise you that day by day you are at work in our lives, transforming them beyond all our expectations, breaking through our doubts and our stubbornness, and drawing us to Christ and the way he lives. Here in the love and power of Christ we stand. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.